That's uh, five people alive. There are five, there are five but that's five. <laughs> that's pile over there. <laughs> and with that knockout, there are four left. The match will end. All right. With the winners. <laughs> I can't believe that drunk priest actually made it. Uh, he deserves it. He does. He's uh, a legend. Oh, oh, Eric! Why did you? Why did you literally on all your attack rolls not roll higher than a two to hit? Like, you know. Like, I think he <laughs> two twos and a three, and then like his parries were like threes and fours. It's like no, you're not hitting with those. La Lady okay, Lux. So I can I can stop channeling now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Yake. Mm -hmm. So disappointingly, as not many people expected, Eric went out to this early. That's sad. You know, he he tried to uh, he tried to take out Raphael. That's what he gets. Rolling so many rolling so many twos. There's nothing he can do about it. <laughs> I have a feeling. Anyway, that will you 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 are fr you are let out of the arena. The water level seems to um, go back to normal. Okay. So oh, can... grab onto the other uh, airship cable and swing out. Aha! In a shower of roses. Oh. Indeed. <laughs> you you know you know all the other, you do or you know all the other people um all the bodies for example you see the Leviathan go around Betty clicked them all up. Life five and seems to collect each and every body up and seems to take them somewhere. Blue the water. Just put them in the button to drown. Ra Ra Raphael would know who they're being dragged. They're being dragged into the medical room. To have their concussions treated. So after round two finishes, you also see the Leviathan basically climb out of the climb out of the arena. After round two, <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, everyone is is uh, suitably impressed, of course. The arch, the archmage seems to be quite amused by it, as everyone starts looking at him riding a Leviathan. It's like, hmm. it I see much better now. Sorry, giants, you can't see anymore because I'm the way on this Leviathan. <laughs> The vibe, admittedly, if anyone was sitting here, they'd have a very bad day. Regardless, that round two will go through. Um, let's see how your competition does. Um, Colrun makes it through. It's fine. Um, who else do we have? The Halfling made it through. Soros made it through. Still not using any magic. Well, look, who else do we have making it through? Brock, unfortunately, was eliminated. Oh. Brock, unfortunately, could not make the jumps and fell in. Ah, I'm sorry, Brock. And the Leviathan seemed to have got him. <laughs> no, he broke his ribs again, damn it. The Leviathan seemed to have been gentle. It didn't seem to, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't seem to you know, break anyone's ribs. Um... It seems like most other people, other than Broke, seem to make it true. Yes, 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 yes. As far as you can tell, yes, everyone else made it true. Oh, as you know, chat, you know, dwarves are not very good at swimming. Just look at Dwarf Fortress. The thing. Um, a lunch break is given to all the contestants before the final round begins. Uh, you will know your first match, by the way, in the new round, Jonas. Because in the last round will be a ladder. You're going to be part against Colroon next. Oh, how delightful. What? I bet it on you two. You're not supposed to fight against each other. It was, it's a ladder. At some point, we, we would have to. Yeah, it's, it was guaranteed to happen at some point. Well, I'm just going to go and visit the bathroom quickly. That is fine. So what I'm are you... To, what? I'm going to quickly call some darkness. Why are they all looking that way? What? Oh, don't worry. Who looking what way? All the tokens uh, made was made to look away. Really? What direction? Up and first left and then up. Oh, don't worry. Nothing will go wrong. Oh God, what's gonna happen? The witch. I doubt it. What has she got to gain from messing up the? 
killing large population centers. Yeah, but she's never wanted. If she wanted to do that, she would. I don't know. She's powerful enough to do some crazy havoc, yes. right? Yeah. But so, this is like the tournament. Everyone important is here. You yeah, know, but, like. Except. This is where uh, you say. Prince Bishop and uh, the Empress. Right. And isn't she mainly like against the like the throne? So if she wanted to kill anybody, it'd be the empress. Well, yeah, but still, so. she could send a message. I, it was a joke. I you're, think, you're thinking terror tactics. Yeah, terror tactics. <sighs> I guess that's just what Ballard knows. It's okay. Yeah. Oh. Huh. I hello. Thought, wait, um, a second. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I, find, I found Aria. Uh, uh, it's one second, I'm just, right I'm just changing something. You'll be enforced once it's done. I'm zoomed in on Aryan anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Welcome back. I'm Thank moving you. scenes. You didn't see the embarrassment? No. No. What was the embarrassment? We changed scenes. Oh. The camera is shifting. There we go. There we go. It's better. Part of this wall is cut off. Let me put the wall back. So is it just now like sand? Just for now. The, for now, during the lunch break, the arena has been set back to um. The arena has been set back to a a nice sandy pit. Mhm. Mm you see the archmage smirking as it does so. You have a feeling he might have something else prepared. Aha! Bring it. <laughs> you do go into the arena on your lunch break. I mean, you know, is it lunch? Oh, uh -huh. it's basically everyone's everyone's given. Yeah, it's been you've been here for quite a while. I mean, those that the first round took a long time mainly. Oh sure, Raphael will will go and have some lunch. Eat uh, eat some, you know. And maybe maybe he'll poke his head into the airship, you know, talk a little bit with Laurel and Bollard. Do see people set up like? See see what's cracking up there. Do they set up like tables and stuff for the? If you want a table, seems, piece, uh, it, it, seem, it seems some people have asked for tables and they get them pulled out of the cupboards. Sure, why not? Let's get some tables for dinner. You can get that. <laughs> can they get a big enough one for Zoe and Riff's entourage? They, they have large enough ones for the giants. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, sure. Um, Let's get a large enough table for our entourage. By the way, um, Laurel. If Manakai's there. I'm here, but muted. You seem, um, the Archmage seems to try to catch your attention. Sure. Most notably, you notice him trying to catch your attention. As you see, his Leviathan basically set up a huge pillar of steam. Alright, I can, I can go close enough to contact him. As, as, you, as you get closer, the Archmage seems to just fly off the back of the Leviathan up and land on your airship. Alright, yeah, sure. Welcome aboard, Elrond. Very nice ship you have here. Looks around. Indeed. It took quite a bit of work to finish it up, but... Wow. We gotta show off our toys. It seems so. Looks to the passengers e eating lunch. Mm -hmm. As I expected, the, the arena made, made much profit. Admittedly, I doubt you brought enough food to feed all the passengers. Necessarily, I was... Was, uh, that that seems to be something they would do themselves, I believe. Well, you know, pe some, pe some people some people just buy it on site. Oh, anyway. oh, the arena has covered that. It seems I'm making a making a pretty penny as they usually do. It is their event after all. Indeed. Um, for your knowledge, I have um, completed a project you have asked me to do. Well, well just... very well then. I will soon have a meeting with you, so we can discuss it further. Yes, there is one piece missing, but that should be able to be handled at our meeting. Mm. Anyway, would you like some lunch? Joseph, I suppose. Why not? It's not necessary, but today's not a day of necessity. Laurel's he's, like Zacharias; he doesn't need to eat. <laughs> he seems to reach. He seems to reach into his bag of holding and pull out a a beautifully cooked apple pie. Is a homemade. Unfortunately, my cooking skills have never been that good. 
I, I did not personally make this, I'm afraid. You should try it though. It's delicious. It's from the best apple pie oh, shop. I will. In the uh. Oh, we'll eat apple see. pie with uh. Ah, moonfish. I haven't seen you in a while. Good old Melrin. I just like to see the children laugh. Moon said, Mal Malrin, did you ever get those? Uh, did you ever get those fireworks working? I did, yes. And didn't you see the North Side Festival was quite good, actually. He smiles for the first time in weeks. <laughs> Much better than yeah. your <laughs> You guys forced him to work in your sweatshop yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't. I made Rift work. Terrible and I, people. I I'm so sorry, Moonseer. I'm so sorry. Like you can. Uh, you, do, you, do you want to Riff come along has, to the dance hall? Have a party. Should not be available for this sort of thing. Riff has never asked Moonseer to do anything for her. Has uh, Riff done it? Uh, gone, done the things you were asked to do? Uh, I forgot how much. Uh, how long it would take? But I'll have a look quick. Or we can eat apple pie with Munchie oh, and, and uh, the Archmage. Bollard, Talk about the esoteric I... magic and stuff. And me, come on then. Would, Bo would Bollard like some apple pie? Yeah. Bollard probably brought homemade stuff, right? Uh, maybe, yeah. Mm, I'll share it. Like, we can eat it in the I always, room, wait, I always make more than I need, so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I imagine he's the kind of that like, last like 20 top of wares. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With <laughs> all kinds of like. Well, I just cleaned out the kitchen, so. <laughs> There's piles of like chicken and like rice. And now stuff. eat, 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 eat. There's only you're only skin and bones. Damn it. Does anyone? Um, let's have a look. Hey, Raphael. Mm -hmm. I will inform you. An armored contingency contingency is going to come to you. Armored contingency. Well, Raphael is not going to go down without a fight. It seems to be Countess Ran and a pair of guards. Go. Oh. Well, Raphael will bow to the Countess. You didn't Lady Vanti, well, it is quite a pleasure to see you again. Did you enjoy the show? Of course. You're doing quite well out there. I'm glad my bets are paying off. <laughs> he bows again. Why, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Looks over to the... <laughs> that is one angry-looking dwarf. Ignore it. So, what can I possibly do for you? Oh, I thought that you know you you but you've been fighting quite hard. I I thought you want I thought maybe you'd want some of the finest food possible. Rejuvenate your energy. <laughs> well, that is certainly very nice of you. Come, come, come over. Here. Come, come, follow. Me. Oh, sure, Raphael. We'll, uh, we'll walk along. He, she glares at the guards. He he will he will strutter, you know. Strut his stuff. He's, he's, there, seems, there seems to be a little table set up over here. The Baron seems to be eating eating a lovely um, a, a lovely ro roasted venison. Oh, how delightful! Any, oh. Anything, anything you want from the menu? Anything? <laughs> sure, Raphael will look through the menu or something. Uh, nothing too heavy, you know. He, he's going to fight after all. But. Okay, uh, okay. The countess, the countess seems to order it. Doesn't he seem to pay any money to the arena? She seems to order it and the arena seems to just nod. Sure. Okay, for she seems to also treat her guards in the same way, just giving them, you know, whatever they want off the menu. Mm -hmm. I hope she's not poisoning me. But, uh, you know, it would be rude to, to test the food at this point. So, uh, so Raphael will, will certainly eat and uh, converse. We have enough people to... She Get seems. She seems to ask you. She seems to ask you a few things, such as, "How the hell did you piss off the Empress that much?" <laughs> well, you know. What is uh, the it, fox doing? R Raphael will will say that he uh, that he uh, stepped on her toes when they were dancing, ah. and um, she didn't take well to that. And uh, you know, will shrug. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> hug you now. <laughs> so he's like, "Oh no." Okay, she'll 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 pet the fox on on the head. It's like. Focus so balancing on the wall. You're gonna fall. I'm gonna hug you. I, I, it's not that I hug you. I'm just saving you. <laughs> the reason I'm not letting go. <laughs> it's not because you're adorable and cute. It's because I need to save you. Clearly. I need to save you clearly. And I, I, Orion's just talking to that merchant like, give me some fucking carrots. 
<laughs> he comes back with gold in his mouth. He, he, he's tossing him two golds to get some carrots. Okay, he finds carrots in the storage room. You can get so much carrot carrots for two gold. You can. Arian, Arian doesn't. I, maybe he does know a lot about money. How intelligent is he anyway? He, he's probably. I think he's as intelligent as Raphael. Ten intelligence. Yeah, he can understand money. <laughs> I don't like Pleb. Give, give me two gold of carrots and put it in he's, this backpack. He sniffs, looking down upon Raphael over his long nose. Like, hmm. he, he puts. Uh, he has a backpack and he shows the backpack and puts the food. Holds beer. up. He, he's like Wiley Coyote. He holds up signs <laughs> like, for what he wants. No, he just points. Does, does he does he get two golds of uh, carrots in his backpack and uh, his uh, feeder? Um, I don't. Think they, I don't. I don't know if they fit all in his backpack. They might need to go in like a separate bag. Yeah, he like has, two he has gold two. of two gold of carrots is a lot. You know, he's he's, he's he's given a sack that's attached to his um, attached to him full of carrots. I think he's just carrying it in his mouth. Very very. He's like guys, he... I got snacks. Does Arian has his own, have his own money? He uh... no, he he uh, basically. I guess he basically just took it from Zoe. Oh, all right. Well, if he can do that, then maybe, you know, if he's tired of holding up signs, you know, Laura could... Oh. There's, of course, a risk of, of horrible things, but, you know, that's a small risk. Well, that that you could have, uh, have actually, telepathy. If you it was actually to. four gold. It's a long carrot. He, um, <laughs> he, he will walk up to the side of the arena with a carrot sticking out of his mouth like a cigar. Well, he's going to walk over his like... Yeah, I mean, see? <laughs> I got I got snacks for the crew. <laughs> High roller Arian. <laughs> so he gives him money so he can buy stuff. He just used it all though. It's allowance. Yes, allowance, yes. The I got look hungry but must deny themselves to some day. Yes. <laughs> they uh, they keep really money. They, eating carrots, but they keep money too. So he's very strict. No she's not. No carrots if <laughs> They're not allowed anything. They are allowed everything. They're only allowed a piece of bread. Shut a up. Glass of water. <laughs> well, that they they're allowed everything. They just don't want it, right? Yeah. Mm. They're allowed everything. They just. Right, right. That that's what that's what you tell them to say, right? Like, yes, master. Like you don't call me that. Arian, can you push Rifflin into the? <laughs> the Rifflin fly. She don't care. <laughs> the Ryan can trample you down. Riff can fly. Mm. She don't care. The spell magic. Dimension door. <laughs> As you can't, you, technically you can't cast spell fly magic. while falling. Just saying you can't cast fly while falling. It's true. You need feather fall for that. I do have. Arian has there fly by attack, so, so he go. can fly by <laughs> shoot attack you. Smack you in the head with carrots. Mm -hmm. Fine, invisibility grayer. You can't see shit. <laughs> um, actually... He has scent. Well, fine. He has sent, but he also, he also has like he also has like detect good, detect even. You know, he's like all the alignment detections. So it's like, <laughs> I'm right there. I know you are. Points at you with his hoof. Uh. <laughs> no one else in this room is that chaotic. No, so, true. so who is this Baron Alfred von Sagenhauer? What does he think about the things? The Baron of Gallen Creek. He's he he seems to be eating away at his uh, eating away at venison, but he look he looks up to you. Yeah. I am. Um, well, it's it's nice to meet you. I I am I am one of the main funders of this tournament. I have quite a lot of connections to the people running it. Oh, okay, well, that's nice. And it says that it is a mighty fine tournament. He is having a lot of fun so far. And uh, we will we'll of course um, invite the Baron and and the Countess if he hasn't done that already today after party thing. Be splendid. Be splendid. I, I'm sure I can come along. Wonderful, wonderful. Meet oh. the fighters, you know? If the it's Empress like a, is coming. It's, it's like a backstage pass, you know? You get into all fancy rooms, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can, like, shake hands with, with One Direction Raphael. You know? <laughs> oh, don't oh. say One Direction. People are going to start crying. <gasps> oh, I, sh I should... Left. I guess... Oh. I, 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 maybe I should mention this, but, you know, Raphael, I heard you, I've heard you've, um... I've heard you've had some connections with the Empress a few times. <laughs> I've heard lots. Yes, uh, it is true. I am uh, my my official title is the first imperial courtesan. I do believe. 
I, 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 uh, I um, he smiles wickedly. I prefer to call myself the master of the dance because I am the the dancing teacher of the Empress, after all. It's Max. Jolly wins. good. Jolly good. I'm, I'm, I, I believe your, I believe your dance partner is watching this match soon. Is that so? He, 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 he off, he offhandedly, clearly quite subtly, with his wine glass, gestures to the um, iron door. Yeah, super secret iron door. <laughs> she, she, super she, 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 she's hiding in the back of the control room. <laughs> Raphael, Raphael smiles. Oh, of course, she is far too gracious. Uh, <laughs> like this, she won't steal my thunder. He smiles. Be careful! If you upset her too much, she might come out. She might come out to fight you in the arena itself. Oh, Raphael smiles. You know, rolls the wine a bit. And says that would be lovely. It was such a such a crowning achievement to the. Uh, we to, we didn't just rebuild the Torino. You guys two might destroy it. <laughs> we have to destroy a, a few things. <laughs> a wall or two, maybe. Count, Countess, please tell me of all of all the destruction you've seen since you've been there. <laughs> Raphael will will act uh, completely scandalised by by any story the Countess will tell. Unfortunately, Raphael also knows half of these are true. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But he is—he's playing it up here. The countess, al the countess also gives you a subtle warning of um, these—the spinning dwarf may try to turn up the heat on you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bloody, bloody dwarf, man. I'm, I'm, I'm wise to your tricks, dwarf. All right. Well. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. Everyone is invited. I felt we'll talk and be pleasant. Mm -hmm. In the end, he's ready to fight. Raphael's always ready to fight. Mm -hmm. yeah, how could you protect the Emperor if you weren't? Exactly. The, the spinning dwarf looks out over the um, arena and calls out. Champions of the arena, it's time for us to it is time for us to fight in the final round. Aha! <laughs> Enthusiasm, I like it. <laughs> Raphael lands with a flurry, of course. If you if you, if you don't mind, are we, arena master, I will announce this one. Our gr we have we have Raphael de Firenze, the first imperial courtesan. And and cur and currently one of one of the best champions. They're already eliminating one of our favourite ten. And on the and on the other side, we we have we have the we have the Grand Ex Prince himself, Korun. This should be an interesting battle for everyone. Wow, he's going. But yeah, whichever one makes you out of this, I'm 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 looking forward to seeing you in the next round. He's going for the for the Ex Prince title, eh? He's twisting a dagger, the bastard. <laughs> Well, Raphael will uh, will slowly, you know, walk out to the middle of the arena, drawing his blade as he as he walks. He will, uh, you know, flip it up as a uh, as a, like in, in front of him, straight up, like a, as, a, as a salute towards uh, Kalrun. Kalrun nods to you, draw drawing his blade. What is what is he using? What is he using? Let me check for you. He is using a longsword. All right. You know, standard issue. Standard issue longsword. Also, to make this match more interesting, I uh -oh. thought I would turn up the heat, literally. <laughs> uh huh. Thank you, Archmage, for supplying this. Ah. No. Ah. Now. This should make things far more interesting as the as this continues to increase in size. Good luck. Oh, I see how I see what it does. <laughs> Karun looks quite surprised looking round. Raphael, uh, you know, sort of uh, says to him over, if it gets too narrow, uh, I I would suggest that we actually uh, make a a concerted effort to move out before we continue the fight, if it goes that long, of course. He smiles. I don't think uh, anyone of us wants to fall in that. No. I don't, I don't believe either of us would be in a too good of a mood for that. Nods. Very good, then. 
he gets, uh, you know, he takes his opening position. The spinning dwarf shouts at the beginning. Common rolled really bad on his initiative. Wait, his, his initiative bonus is nowhere near right. Dot 99? Hi, are you all right? I forgot to... How do I change my initiative mode? You can, create, you can always create an item which counts as initiative object. I guess I could. Oh, I can do that. There we go. His, his token is not set up anywhere near right. I'll have to roll this manually for him, I think. All right. That's fine, though. Raphael, you react to the starting buzzer first. The crowd, by the way, seems very, very split on who to um, root for here. Sure. Riffle yeah, Raphael, uh, Raphael will advance, guard up. He, he doesn't go closer than this in the first round. Riffle will um, look to Zoe and say, so you must be divided. Who are you rooting for the most, though? So lifts an eyebrow. Really, I'm. I'm. I re I'm surprised <laughs> you think that. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious who I'm rooting for. Riff grins. She looks boring at at the fight, really. <laughs> Riff so we just do a bitch, please. <laughs> to yeah, yeah. <laughs> she did, kinda, yeah. <laughs> Uh, who are you rooting for? Our magnificent uh, Raphael, of course. <laughs> I'm rooting for Kuru, but I have a bad feeling that he that Raphael is gonna win. A bad feeling? <laughs> what? You are kind of annoying. Raphael is scandalized. She, she's not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's scandalized from afar. <laughs> Riff nods and says, yes, I think uh, Colrune's a little bit outmatched here. You know, when, when a lady talks bad of Raphael... Like, so, Colrune Col Col runs up and is going and swings at Raphael. All right. Um, he achieved a 44. Wow, that is, uh, that's something we're going to try to parry. I'm not sure if I can, but I will swings certainly try. Swings longsword, which you even see crackling with a combination of energy. Uh -huh. Nope, that is not good enough. You no, know it is not. Uh, let me just find the damage. Of course, the long sword's a D8. <laughs> it means he's fighting sword and shield style at you. Uh -huh. Well, that's a paladin, of course. Yeah, what, what would you expect any less? By the way, Anakai has posted the song where Anakin and... Um, Obi-Wan fights. Yeah, Duel of the Fates. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's not smiting. The, the lava of song run. Yeah. Uh, the sword also seems to be on fire, for your knowledge. Sure. Um, that single hit dealt 37 points of damage. Don't you don't have any resistances. Wow. <laughs> sure, bro. Sure. As, it's only the same as, as uh, Raphael's bonus damage, though. He's not smiting, so, you know. Yeah. You can't smite. Raphael's not the correct alignment. It seems like almost like a spark of arcane energy, possibly from its blood shooting out. Mmm. I can do that too. Raphael. Except he does it oh. naturally. Also, um, one thing, I can, one thing I should do, um, the lava. Yes. All right. <laughs> Well, uh, Raphael's blade will flash, and he's gonna. You see him launch into a very intricate set of moves, uh, feints and parries, and and a lot of fancy footwork as it goes for a uh, targeted strike on Colrune. Ooh. Uh, trying to target his arms to make him drop his sword. Ooh. This should be interesting. Mm uh hmm. -huh. Let's see here. You are supposed to be the chosen one. Aha! Um, against Colrune's AC, that is a hit, does not confirm. Nope, it doesn't need to. He drops his weapon, there's no save against this. No save? Nope. If I hit, he drops his weapon. Okay, he drops his weapon. Does he take any damage, or...? No. This is okay. me basically disarming him. Okay, you disarm Colrune. 
Karun pick seems... up his weapon and chuck it in the fire. Karun, <laughs> Karun seemed disappointed by this. Yet he is not he is not done yet. He will continue to fight you. Um, he will go ahead and um, well, he reaches to his belt and draws a short sword on you. Right. He seems to have a backup. This, this the short sword unfortunately does not seem to be as flamey. Uh, that is my uh, my hope. There still seems to be magic going for it, though. You know, clearly not as much. You know, it's uh, not as powerful. I agree with um, chat kicking that weapon as far away as you can. Great idea. I want to destroy it for him. It's super super. No, expensive. just kick it away. Not into the lava. Um, he achieved a thirty to hit the mist. That's a miss. Yeah. In which case, the magma is going to continue to spread. <laughs> it's Raphael's turn. I wonder if he looks at the the magma, frowns, takes a step down here, <laughs> getting better position to get out of this if needed. You are not uh, being fried alive. Yeah, I'm not too fond of it, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack a rune. Um, that is a double miss. Okay. Unfortunately, you can bane a half elf. It does work, yes. unfortunately. Colrun will now unleash his fury of a full round attack on you. Mm hmm. This probably will not succeed, you know. You can go try. Um, a 34 on the first and a 39 on the second. 39 on the second. Well, the second will hit. I'm going to try to parry. Uh, set up the bonuses and parry. That's probably a succeed, that, yes. That's a successful parry. Does not confirm. Uh, Counterattack. 35. Um, 35. Does that hit? Let me check for you. It does hit. All right. That is a uh, 55 damage. And he seems to also um, absorb 55? That didn't come out. 55, yes. Why is that 55? It's 45, Jonas. It's, 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 40, 45. Oh, it's 45. Yeah, sorry. 45, and he seemed to absorb the electricity. Okay. Um, also, the lava will continue to encroach on you. As it seems to love to do. Mm -hmm. Are we going to send uh, some flying items down there you can stand on while you're flying? <laughs> I hope so. Raphael has his celestial armor. It is Raphael's Fly. turn. Flying is forbidden, sadly. Oh. That's a bit of a problem. <clears throat> what, who won? It's your turn. Yes, okay. Why do I keep clicking that? I don't You're both know. slightly wounded. We are, yes. It's true. It's very upsetting. Well, Raphael doesn't like being wounded. No, that's 33. I'm rolling terribly. You are rolling terribly and you're missing him. God yeah. damn it, Jake. You're channeling on the wrong uh, person. Step I'm here. not channeling anymore. <laughs> you can't turn the channel off, Jake. And he, uh, he will sort of, uh, you know, motion towards the lava, you know, with uh, <laughs> eyeing Colrune as he sort of steps back a bit. Um, Colrune will pick up his blade, the move action. Sure. And is then going to um, move. Like. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, Raphael will indicate to Kalroon that he will not strike him if he uh, moves past him to get out of the lava. Very well. In that case, he's going to pick up his blade and then move like that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this this uh, reminds me of a gladiator scene. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he, will not, I just... he will not attack of opportunity to you if you move past. Very good. I, I just picture somebody... Too honorable for that. 
The audience seems slightly disappointed. I picture oh. somebody shouting, um, Raphael, the Mercer's Also, falling. Magma technically encroached more. Yeah, he moves here. Uh, he will, uh, as he moves, pull out a potion and uh, he will swig it with a standard action. Uh, Kolrun then is going to go ahead and um, move out once to there and is then also going to lay on hands himself. Of course, yes. Bloody, Bloody paladin. paladin. You know, you both can do this. <laughs> You have potions, and he has his own stuff. Good roll. You call room might want to be your hardest fight, sir. Just so he can heal himself. Uh, I think that's his value. Seems to wait for you to reinitiate. All right. Well, walks up, goes for another feint to try to disarm him again. <laughs> mm. I'm, just, I'm just that much of a bastard. If I can do it. 41, that's probably a hit. If they hit, does not confirm. Nope, but the blade goes down again. <laughs> <laughs> well, back out with the short sword. Yep. He's going to try attacking you. And that's a natural 20. Roll to confirm. 28 does not confirm, I think. Nope. And then 29 in the second attack. Well, it doesn't get the second attack anyway, actually. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Right, going to try to parry. Okay, you're going to try parrying his natural 20. Pretty fun. Uh, what do I need to break to do that? Um, he got on a natural 20 a... Fine fuel. He got a 46. 46. I. That is difficult. I might. I might He's be able clearly to. an experienced fighter. Might be able to. I'm going to try. Ah, damn it. Well, he well that, hit you. that's a hit. Hitting you with his short sword, he deals 23 points of damage. Huh. There is still a tiny bit of fire in there, though, nowhere near as much as the other blade had. Uh, Alright, well. Um, first one is a miss. The second one is a hit, which confirms. Alright. Uh, let's see here. The second one will then be 20, 49, 51, 57, 77 Four. damage. 74 because he's absorbs free. But yep. that seemed to hurt just a bit also in case you guys were still in the middle 